All right, let's uh, let's start this video off with an advertisement. Uh, man, I'm telling you, I'm so excited. Uh, if you tune into my channel at all, I've never, you know, I've mainly been about hiking and just things in general, but we got a really exciting video coming up. Um, and uh, I'm hoping it's going to be Ocala Audio. And uh, I asked them if we could make a video. They're going to put that film on the front of the Toyota Prius Prime. Uh, to protect it from rocks on my 3,000 mile trip and, uh, and then also we're going to tint the windows sounds like they want to go darker than what I was I had in mind but they say it's perfectly legal and I'm like well what if I move to another state is it going to be legal then and uh, anyway I'm just they got I mean they got the equipment wait till you see it it's going to be an exciting video um, so let's just get into the video here a couple couple quick things about the Prius prime um, that I'm learning as we go. Uh, here's the first one. Um, the wireless remote control. Okay. Uh, pressing the button unlocks the driver's side door. Pressing the button again within three seconds unlocks the other door. Okay. I, and I was complaining about this uh, because I want to just press the button and have it unlock all the damn doors because I'm going to tell you most of the time when I'm coming up to the car I don't want to sit there and go beep beep Beep, 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 you know, and then, then, and if you press it a third time, all of, I mean, it unlocks the damn, you know, it's just crazy. Anyway, there is a, a menu option I'm going to show you where you can go down in the media center and uh, actually un, unset that and set it so that when you press the button one time, it unlocks all the doors. I don't understand what, why you wouldn't want to do that. I mean, why wouldn't you want to just press the button one time and have all the doors unlocked? The other thing here that I found interesting in the manual is it says press and hold to open the side windows and then it's got a little star and it says this setting must be customized at your Toyota dealer. Toyota dealer of course said nothing about this. Uh, I am going there to pick up the mats on Thursday. I'm going to try to find out about this because it would be cool to, to use the remote control to open the, um, the side windows and, and why wouldn't they set that by default? I, I haven't found anything in the menu to do that um so that's that's the first thing here another good feature that you're going to want to uh, to use with the uh, toyota prius prime is what's called the battery saving function and uh you know i was reading about this and i was like wow this this would be really cool the battery saving function will be activated in order to prevent the electronic key battery and the 12 volt battery from being discharged while the vehicle is not in operation for a long time you know, sometimes I'm riding my motorcycle. It might be a week that car is going to sit. Um, or if I'm camping, you know, uh, maybe I'm just going out hiking and uh, or I go on a backpacking adventure and I'm going to leave the car for three or four days, you know. Um, so this would be a nice thing to, to set. Um, and so what it says, when in battery sa when battery saving mode is set, battery depletion is minimized by stopping. By the way, that battery only lasts about a year or two. Uh, in the uh, remote. So this would be something really important to do. Although <laughs> it's hard to remember. I've read this about three times and I get out there and I go, what is the combination for me to, 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 to put it in battery saving mode? So you press the unlock, well first press and hold, and it doesn't say this, but press and hold the lock button, okay, and then press the, uh, the unlock button twice. And it says while pressing and holding. And then confirm that the electronic key indicator flashes four times. So then I got excited because then it goes on to say, while the battery saving mode is set, the smart key system cannot be used. And I thought, man, I mean, dudes, I've had a, I've had a little slip of the whiskey when I'm camping and uh, I've left them car keys just sitting on the ta picnic table and woke up the next morning and went, Oh my gosh, I hope the car keys are on the picnic table and my car is still here in the campground. So I thought this would be, uh, hey Toyota, hey Toyota, this would be a great uh, um, anti-theft feature. But then when you read the next sentence, to cancel the function, <laughs> press any key on the electronic key buttons. So any criminal is going to grab the thing, and the first thing he's going to do is press the unlock button, and it's going to uh, deactivate the uh, the battery saving feature. 
So, you know, as far as an anti-theft device, it's, it's useless. But what is, if you want to verify that it's working, though, if you, I mean, what got me excited was I walked up to the doors with the proximity, you know, the key in proximity, and you can't unlock the doors. You can't pull the door open. And so I thought, you know, so my message to Toyota, you already got it built into the key. Why don't you advertise this as an anti-theft and make it so that, you know, you got to have some combination, uh, you know, maybe uh, press the or press and hold the unlock button and then press the lock button twice to disable it or something like that. So that, you know, a criminal, if they don't have a Prius Prime, they're not going to know that. OK, so that's. Uh, but, yeah, you do want to save that battery. And it sounds like it saves the 12 volt battery. I don't understand how the keys related to the 12 volt battery. Another question for the dealer that they probably won't know how to answer. Let's move on to the next thing here. All right, so let's just talk about the automatic door locking. Um, this is on page 756 called Customization. By the way, there's a number of things that you can customize. And uh, I, I didn't like the theme. The theme was a bright white, and man, when that thing comes on, it's bright as hell in the car. You can go to a darker theme or a red theme or a blue theme, you know, but there's all kinds of stuff you can customize in here. But I was just interested in the door locks. And uh, so automatic door lock and shift position linked, and then you can cut the shift linked off. If you go into the menu, and I'm going to show you that, it, it'll show you how to unlock, I mean, set these features off. And, uh, and that's, that's something you're going to want to do. So let's get into a couple other things here. Uh, another thing I found out, or I was excited about, and, and then come to find out it was useless to me, was the car comes with... Um, Wi-Fi and I thought man that'd be cool and hey here's another message to you Toyota why not make it so that I can hook the uh, the the car up to the Wi-Fi in my house that way I could go out there and, and use my tablet or my phone or whatever or even make videos you watch all these guys on YouTube that make videos in their cars because it's a great echo chamber and I could have it connected to the Wi-Fi that would be cool but anyway, just, just to read about how the, the Wi-Fi works and why it's... I mean, right now it's enabled because you get it for like a year trial. You know, I don't do the damn trials because at the end of the trial, they worry the hell out of you. Oh, please send us your money. You can renew for the next 10 years at a discount and thus and such, you know. So um, let's just read about that. The functionality of the Wi-Fi hotspot is made possible through the shared work of the DCM and the system. The service is available by subscription on select telematics hardware equipped vehicles and supported by the Toyota Response Center, which operates 24 hours a day, blah, blah, blah. But let's get back to what the, the real uh, thing that you need to know is. By connecting a device to the vehicle via Wi-Fi, it can be it can access the internet through the DCM. To use this function, a Wi-Fi hotspot service subscription from AT&T is required. Okay, so you're going to have to subscribe to AT&T just to use the Wi-Fi. Well, how many people cell phones use AT&T anymore? I mean, I I used to use them, and I, I imagine a lot of people still do, but you know, I'm on Google Fi, not that I want to give Google my money, but the Google Fi, just so you know, it connects to three sets of cell towers. I get uh, U.S. Cellular, I get uh, T-Mobile, and I get Sprint, you know, all in one contract, and and it's dirt cheap. It's 20 bucks a month. So anyway, that's, a, that's what I use. So, uh, you know, you can call their customer experience center at 800-331-4331. So I thought that was useless. So... Um, let's get into a couple things. The next thing I looked into was, uh, and, and probably if you get the limited version of the vehicle for $40,000 or however much you're going to spend, you get the, uh, the rear view mirror with the garage door opener and you've got the, uh, the compass and, uh, you know, uh, blue link and who, who knows what comes on that stupid mirror. I looked into it. It was like 600 bucks for the damn mirror just by itself. Then I looked at some aftermarket mirrors. All I wanted was a damn compass, man. And, you know, they, they say they got other features that you might want. Here you go. This is the Sunto S-U-U-N-T-O M-C-2. Okay. Uh, if you go on YouTube, you can watch a lot of videos about how to use this for uh, uh, navig land navigation. Um, 
Uh, being a Marine, I, I used to know how to navigate, but uh, I, I'm really going to have to take some notes and, and get out and practice with this uh, before I get on my 3,000 mile trip. But $600 for the rearview mirror, or uh, I think this was $42 for the uh, compass, and then also the fact, because I'll keep it in the console, and if I get, I don't know about you, but I sometimes I get lost in the car, and let's say I don't, I'm out in the National Forest, and I don't have cell phone service, so I can't use the compass on the uh, cell phone, right? So man, you pull this out, and you go, okay, I know that thus and such road is east of here, uh, so you get your compass, and you figure out which way is east, and then you just kind of keep the compass handy, and you take the dirt roads until you get just keep going east until you get to a main road, and then then you know you can pull out a map and figure out where you are. That's that's just for driving. Since I am going to be driving three thousand miles, and I am going to be going up in the UP, uh, maybe going up into Minnesota into the Superior National Park. Who knows where I'm going to end up on this three thousand mile trip? So I wanted a good compass uh, just to be able to tell me where to go, I and mean, also when I go backpacking or even hiking. I'm going to tell you, there's times that I go hiking that I should have shot an azimuth and then a back azimuth to figure out, okay, because you get out and you're taking this turn in the trail and you're taking that turn and this trail goes this way and this trail goes this way. And the next thing you know, you're like, man, you know, can I really remember the way back? <laughs> You know, because I've taken six lefts and one right, or was it was it two rights and six lefts? I don't know, but as long as you can you say, okay, my back azimuth is, is north by northeast, and I'm heading south by southwest, you know, you can just turn around and start making your way back and just, just keep taking trails. Eventually, you're going to get back to where you started. So that's just to talk about the compass. And at this, by the, this is the best compass I could find uh, that's not massively expensive doesn't weigh a whole lot it's great for backpacking and for driving so nice alternative to the mirror um, I had the key out here I was going to just kind of show you on here uh, is you do have uh, a manual key right here and you just lift up this little lever right here and so that'll that'll get you your key out um, you know, most cars come with that, so you probably already know that already, but I did want to show you that real quick. Um, so if you do get in a bind. The, uh, the next thing, you know, like I said, trial run is always real important, and this is, not, uh, this is more about my trip than it is about the uh, Kia, I mean the uh, uh, Toyota Prius Prime. But I took the, uh, the hiking umbrella out, and uh, I guess I pulled on the strap <laughs> a little too hard. And it popped off and I was thinking, well, I'll go to a tailor and I was going to sew this back on. Um, I just, I've had people ask me about this umbrella, so I just wanted to show it to you real, real quick. Okay, so this is, this is the umbrella and what I wanted to show you real quick uh, for you hikers out there, because this is mainly a hiking channel, is the interior of the umbrella, okay? If you look right here, these are, these are made of plastic, okay, look at that. You know, if it, this was metal, you know how it bends? And uh, this is tested in a wind chamber. So this can actually blow out. Look at that. I mean, I don't want to break the darn thing, but I mean, you know, it's pretty, look at the, uh, this one here. See how it bends down? It's not metal, doesn't bend. And, uh, and it's automatic. So, you know, you can use it. I just wanted to show you that. Uh, so with that strap broken, you know, I, a long time back, I. I have a really awesome uh, golf umbrella in this uh, sleeve here that uh, I've used for years. And I'm going to tell you, the bigger the better when you're on the golf course. And this thing's a monster, and it's got the three, the three layers. Um, you know, I've had it for many years, uh, but you don't find them like this. I think I got this at Sam's Club years ago. Look at the size of that sucker. <laughs> Can I get it in the frame? And uh, it's, it's a nice, durable one, but you see how it's got the, on, on top, it's got the wind, the wind layer right here. Can you see my hand through it? Okay, so that in the high winds, when you're on the golf course, this umbrella comes in handy. Well, what I'm getting to is I lost the sleeve for the darn thing. And uh, so I bought this thing, and uh, look at the strap on this. And uh, so, you know, if you, if you watch my videos, you know, you're gonna slap this on like a samurai. And you're going to put it right here so that when you're hiking, you've got your umbrella with you at all times. Now, this, this thing actually adjusts. This is a bigger umbrella. I think that's like a 40-some 40, 40 inch, maybe 
I, I want it. It's not 48, but it's uh, and then this this here is like 30 30 something but you can adjust this down to the right height of the umbrella and use this strap versus uh, well, here it is right here see in the bottom you can you got a right here so you can adjust this to the various lengths of the umbrella so that this will be just just the right length for the uh, the hiking umbrella and uh, this is a better option than sewing that strap back on so I guess that's it for this video, except for I will go out to the car and I'll show you how to navigate through the, uh, the menu to, do, to get into those door locking mechanisms and uh, maybe we'll even go through the theme. There you go, quick video. Peace out. Okay, uh, one of the first things you're going to want to do is pick the uh, theme that you want. Um, I like this this kind of dark blue setting and you know it's kind of dark in the car right now I haven't got to come I got one little light on in the garage but this is what it would look like when you're driving uh, and even in the daytime I like this setting so let's you know let's feel from the top this is your home screen that would be your first button and I'm feeling down uh, to that night I can't see what I'm doing I hit the menu all right so then we can get to here and we go into the setup and we're gonna go into the general settings right here okay and then look right here see the theme setting just hit on that and see this is this was the default look how bright that is oh my god i'm going blind ah! blind i can't see anything my night vision's completely gone so we can go with the, the blue i even like the red a little bit there's the red but that's kind of i mean it's it's psychedelic <laughs> but, but the blue is easiest on my eyes so there you go that's uh that's a quick setting that you're going to want to do uh, I like the beep on, so that's up to you. Um, and you know, as you as you roll through these, we'll get into the uh, um, the door lock settings next. Okay, we're back after setting the general settings, and I want to show you this. This is another customization. You can change how the uh, the home screen looks. So here, I've just got the audio and the battery. Uh, because I try not to use the phone too much uh, when I'm driving and do I really want that up on the screen so there you go that's something else you can customize so now I'm, I'm up here I'm feeling down there's the home screen and there's the menu alright so we're gonna get into the door locks now so we're gonna hit the setup button uh, then we're gonna come down over here and we want uh, vehicle which is right here whoops Wi-Fi vehicle there we go so now we hit the uh see <laughs> this is why i'm an old fart and i like the buttons you know but uh anyway so now we're going to go into vehicle customization and then we hit on door lock settings okay so here i've got the automatic door lock uh, by shift from park uh, and automatic door unlock by shift to park i, I see no reason to change those um i mean if you're getting if you're putting the car in park you want the doors to unlock and if you're if you're uh you know if when you shift out of uh, park into drive or reverse or you know whatever i mean you, you you want it to unlock i mean to lock excuse me so now you notice this next setting here the remote to whoops remote to press unlock so you just press that and it cuts it on that would say, okay, first press, unlock the driver's side door. Second press, unlock all the doors. I want all the doggone doors unlocked. One press. There you go. I got the groceries in my hand. I don't want to sit there and push it. Then grab the door and go, oh, damn it, I got to push it again to get the doors unlocked. Wireless lock when doors opened. Not sure what that is. I got to ask the dealer who's probably not going to know. <laughs> I'm just telling you, they don't seem to know anything. So let's just cut that on for now because I don't know exactly what that is. Uh, select doors to unlock. Um, so you can go with driver's door or all doors. I, of course, I want all doors. Let's put that back. Auto relock timer. This is one of the most annoying features that has ever been created in the history of modern cars and luckily Toyota gives you the option to cut this off so let's give you an example okay I'm uh, I've come out to the car I got my my 
I'm, I'm getting ready to get in the car. I've unlocked the car. And then I remember, oh man, it's a hot damn day. I forgot my water, man. So I go back and I get, I get the water bottle and I get, the, you know what, I'm going to get my cup so that I got that. Maybe a Dr. Pepper, you know, and the, here I come out and I got my hands full and you get to the car and you go to grab the door and son of a gun, it's locked and the key is in my doggone pockets. And now I'm piling all the crap on top of the car to get down into my pocket to get the stupid key out to unlock the doggone door. Okay, so this, uh, by cutting the timer, real, you can tell I really, really hate that. So by cutting the relock timer off, okay, um, then, you know, you don't have to worry about that. You unlock the doors, they're going to stay unlocked. Now, the bad part there is, is if you're, if you're one of those people prone to forgetting to lock the doors when you get to the grocery store and you want that feature, uh, not a bad idea. Or if you're traveling and you figure, you know, I would rather have the doors locked than have the convenience of, you know, having my hands full. Okay. Uh, lock, unlock feedback lights. We want that on. Uh, cause I want to see it. You know, when I, when I, uh, lock the car at a distance, I like to see them lights flash. Uh, you, you might not even at night. What did you know what at night, you know, there are instances like for hunters. Okay. Feedback tone. Let's just get into that one. Okay. I got a buddy up in Michigan and I swear if he could cut, if he could rip every sound thing off of his car and he, he hope he buys those old Jeeps, man. And I tell you, they, and he wants the car just silent. So when you get where you're going, you know how sometimes you open the door and it goes, blip, 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 you know, or you hit the key and it goes, blip, 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 you know, and oh my God, that just sets him off. He just says, we just chased all the deer away from, from like a mile around, you know, because they heard that sound. So he would probably want the feedback tone. I'm just giving you an example. Feedback light might be the same way. Let's say you're going incognito. Uh, you're at the uh, uh, 28 miles from... Uh, Utah, the the city there, and you're 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 spying on the NSA uh, data center there that uh, captures everything on the internet for your entire lifetime, and you want to just see what it looks like, but you don't want those lights coming on. There you go. Now you can cut them off with the Toyota. So that's it. That's all we're going to cover in this video. Uh, there's a lot more in 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 this thing, uh, you know. But I'm just trying to hit the ones that I find useful. And the ones that are important to me, you know, I want all the doors to unlock. I don't want the doors relocking after a certain period of time. I want the feedback lights and I want the tone. I got the tone set to seven. You can set it even louder. Um, so it's all up to you. I like the fact that these things are customizable. And, uh, and then you got the theme and the parts part. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. We'll, we'll keep going as we discover stuff about the Toyota Prius Prime. Bye-bye. One last little reward for making it to the end of the video. In the description below will be the link to the uh, sleeve with the strap for the umbrella when you're hiking. And uh, also I'll have a link for the uh, hiking umbrella. And uh, you might want them. I've had a couple people express interest in those. There you go. Peace out.